The anti-Semitism of the Labour Party is clearly endemic in the Labour Party. Uh, the Jewish people have received no apology from the Labour Party. They are outraged by Jeremy Corbyn's positions and the statements he's made. And I think if we're going to start to root things out from politics, that's probably where we ought to start. Let me get on to respond to that, and then I'll ask Liz for her take. Um, well, firstly, if we look at the far right in this country, as I've said, Joe Cox was murdered by the far right. Uh, another Labour... Well, one individual of the far right. Well, yes, a member of the far right murdered right. her. Another, but not, another, not former, an an, another former member of uh, the leader of BNP Youth tried to kill another Labour MP. Uh, Darren Osborne, a far right terrorist, came to London, rammed his van into a mosque and said he was there to try and kill Jeremy Corbyn and Sadiq Khan as terrorist uh, supporters. There were four or five failed far right terror plots last year, which thankfully did not succeed. When Conservative mm. members of Parliament were being murdered by the IRA, when the IRA attempted to kill the Prime Minister of this country, Jeremy Corbyn was sympathetic to the IRA. Right. And do you know what? Do the IRA know, was invited. Michael, Michael, the IRA Michael, was invited Michael, to the House of Commons Michael, first by Jeremy Michael, Corbyn. I'm not going to rerun the smears of the last general election campaign, which the, the public the, these are not smears. soundly rejected. These are not they smears. did not support the IRA's violent campaign. The immigrant scapegoating and demonising of Conservative politicians led to the hostile environment. The hostile environment led to black Britons being denied health care, being kicked out of their homes and dozens of them being deported from this country. That was a racist policy instituted by your party. Uh, it is absolutely outrageous what you say. And I think many people will be shocked because the fears that people have had about immigration are indeed what lay behind, I dare say, why many people voted for Brexit. And, and, and one of the reasons they did that was that for years and years and years, when they expressed a fear about the pressure on jobs or schools or social services or the health service, someone like you would come along and say that these people were racist no, didn't. and that they were anti-Muslim and that they were trying to drive black people out no. and that they I were mean, making a racist case. And people have heard you again this evening and they think, oh my goodness, well look, I have some concerns about immigration and here's this fellow trying to tell me that anybody who has that view is part of some no, no, kind no, no, of no, no, right-wing no, conspiracy. No, no, no. I said, right. Not I only, no, not only have you learnt nothing, no. you are now trying to Michael, smear Michael, lots Michael. of decent people. Did not the relentless scapegoating of migrants for everything, did that not lead to a hostile environment where black Britons, who are citizens of this country, were kicked out of their own country and thrown out on the street? Is that not racism? And I'd ask you if not, why not? By whom is this scapegoating supposedly done? You're, you're referring here to the Windrush thing, are you? Is that yes, what, quite self-evidently. Yes, I'm, okay. I'm shocked if you don't realise that's what we're talking about. The Home Secretary of the Day resigned over that issue. Well, no, she didn't resign over that. An inquiry into that discovered that she was indeed in ignorance of the policy that was being followed. Let me come back to this issue of, of the rise of the far right. Some will say there was also been a rise of more on the hard left as well. But I would suggest to you it's still very much on the margins. This is what is frightening for me. If you look, for example, at anti-Muslim bigotry, which is what Tommy Robinson, and he has a huge online presence, hundreds of thousands of, of people share his stuff in Britain, if not sure. more. Um, that, what he's feeding on, is something fed by the press. When the Times falsely mm. says that a, a Muslim child, sorry, a Christian child was taken against mm. their will in a foster child, right. child which was corrected. So when the front, no, just no, quickly, no, 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 when you, the front page I know of the you think it's all being caused by the media. The so let me says one in five Muslims in I know, Britain and you've made ISIS. that point. So that if that's being, the that case, the if the, the media is complicit, mm -hmm. what was the German media that fueled the rise of the AfD? Well, again. You've got to look at each particular yeah, so context. What was, well, what, what was the French media that the, fueled the, the rise of the National Front? There is, in all of these countries, there are forms of racist media which have scapegoated migrants. Not mass media. And immigrants. But so it might not it, be the media. Well, well it, Andrew, just, just quickly on that. Anna Subri was called a traitor. I was called a traitor. Um, when a far right fanatic killed Joe Cox, they said death to traitors. Traitor. De uh, enemies of the people crush the saboteurs. Let me ask you, you one other point. We're beyond, almost run out of time, so I want to ask you another question. Well, I have many things on Jones, but I'm not naive. You are. Uh, uh, well, no, can we just say the spectator so, is a classic example? Yeah, I knew you were going to bring well, no, that up, it's, it's, and I won't let you hijack no, no, that. No, no, it's not about hijacking, uh, it's about the your spectator. Your smears and lies about no, no, me no, are not no, going to no, be dealt with tonight, so just move off it. We're going to talk about the media. I'm not going to let you hijack the BBC to do this. It's got nothing to do with it. What I want to ask you is this. When the far right behaves uh, 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 appallingly, that's thuggery, but when the far left does it, 
That's activism. I don't understand the difference. No, I, I will finish what I was going to say about spectators. No, you won't. Uh, well, you will. Because it's not will. right for you, you to you, take the that, BBC that to do magazine something has that defended, has nothing to do with the BBC. It has defended Greek neo-Nazis. No, it, it has published an article. Yes, it has everyone. And by the way, I, in the defense, editor is responsible. In defense of the um, you're why the Why don't you answer my question? You're the chairman of the Spectator. I don't, I'm it not responsible for the content. The answer my question. There wasn't enough Islamophobia in the Conservative Party. That's what we're dealing with in The Spectator, like other news. All people. right. Now, in terms of left-wing activism, now you've, you've... No, you've run out of time, so you can't answer the question. So well, there you go. So maybe Everyone I'll... can look at the record of The Spectator. Everybody which has can look at the record. Incited racism against And you Muslims and I may return to this, but not, and on, but not on another forum. Okay. Tonight was not the night to deal with no, your no, lies and smears about me. So let's leave it and we move on. Owen Jones, thank you very much. Okay. It's late.